Whitman Cemetery was started back in 1917 because we as African Americans had no other place to go. Some of us were uh, on church plots or family plots that were interred you know, after they passed. Evergreen and East End were the first two that were started and they would see they were filling up relatively fast. So John Mitchell Jr. decided that he had to look for some more space. And the concept of Woodland came up from there. We needed this 29 and a half acres in order to house the approximately 30,000 people interred here. It's, it's so important to keep this history. And uh, we have a lot of uh, doctors, lawyers, and all types of educators uh, buried out here, pastors. So it's just a lot of history out in this area. About two and a half years ago, I came through just to take a look at um, Arthur Ashe's area. His was uh, pretty much clear because the family has really maintained that very well. And some of the other family members have paid people to actually come out and clean up certain sections. But for the most part, you couldn't see a lot of these headstones out here. The grass was tall, trees were growing through them, and it was just uh, really a mess. And that really struck a chord with me. I knew somebody had to actually step up and take charge and get this thing back to where it should have been. And uh, that was me and a lot more of the volunteers. And within five weeks, we were able to open up a lot of this area. The county is uh, definitely doing an excellent job. The public-private partnership that we have, I couldn't have found a, a better partner, to be honest with you. In the midst of a global health pandemic, when we were literally trying to fly a plane as we were building it, the county got this unique opportunity to partner with the Woodland Restoration Foundation and this wonderful human being who came to us about this buried treasure, literally, and that's what it was a year ago, August 2020. So what you see from, from that time in August 2020 until now, August 20. 21 is the effort of hundreds and hundreds of committed people uh, coming together to say this is a priority for the county. This is a priority for our citizens who are the family members of those who are interred here. We want the, the family members, the residents to be able to come here and feel a sense of pride in where their family is buried. And we've had our employees out here several times doing grass cutting, even the county manager. The entire team is just really committed to seeing this project through, not just to the point of clearing and, and restored, but to be operable again. So seeing the year of progress, seeing the year of committed people from both the county as well as community volunteers, it's just a real sense of pride and celebration that really should be acknowledged for great work done despite of what was happening all around us. If I'm not mistaken, in the last two years we have uncovered about 3,600 headstones out here at Woodland Cemetery, ones that had gone underground never to be viewed again. It's really a daunting task. It's really enough to scare anybody away from even attempting a project like this. But with the help of the volunteers and the people, the family members that are starting to come back right now and the help of the county and Mrs. Ash, we're gonna get this thing back under control. We ensure, we're guaranteeing that it will never get back to the state it was when we first came over.